Okay, folks. So I see a lot of these posted on YouTube, so I thought I'd do my own. Uh, we got a basement refinish here. And you can see i studying the out outside, inside walls. And the whole basement is going to be based around a media room that will be going over here. I'll show you in a little bit. My son and I got a lot done today. We got our ductwork boxed out all the way down. We have to still do a lot of cross members and things like that. As you come around here, we've got this wall already studded out. And this basically right here will be my media room. This will be the back wall. I'm using two by sixes here with a little bit of extra insulation to kind of sound barrier the um, furnace. Yeah, come back around here. Now this pole is like right in the middle of where the media room is going to be. We're actually going to move it to the left a little bit. Uh, so I'm going to have a new pole put in there. I'm going to remove the old pole because it's right smack in the middle of this media room. This media room is about going to be about 18 feet long to about 14, 13, 14 feet wide. Uh, we got almost a perfect rectangle. Just had a little box out here we had to do. Uh, TV screen will be there. And I will be putting in a floor and a step. And of course, archway. Um, we'll get back with another video in a week or so. I'll show you where, what our status is. But right now, uh, the media room is the, what we're building around. And of course, we'll have completely open section here. And we look back. Pardon the mess, but uh, there's our box again, our ladder that we built for our ductwork. It goes straight across, came out really nice. So that's where we are so far. Be back in about a week or so to show you a little progress. Okay, guys, video two, finishing off my basement with a theater room. Want to give you an update? We have. The door frame that will eventually lead to a bathroom. And the majority of the electrical outlets are wired. We are finished boxing with what they call ladders. This is a doorway to the unfinished side. Which you see we have a little bit of step showing here, but the door will swing out towards me. We have all of our electrical outlets run. We added a couple outlets in the ceiling for signs or anything else that I might need an outlet for, but this is also boxed in. Here's an outlet up in the ceiling. We have several outlets throughout the place here. This board here is marking my media room wall, the last wall that I need to put up, except I need to move my pole into a new location which i still have not had them give me a date when they're going to do that but i hope to have that done shortly but if we come back here this is going to be the back of the theater the seats will be back here back seats and then we'll have a row of front and you can see where i have my back channel wires my back right and my back left and all the electrical wires that will go into my sub panel are marked this is obviously the feed from the sub panel. So we got, again, additional outlets. This one is also going to be a splice point because I'm going to put outlets in the floor um, for the seating power seats. Also, I want to note that I ran a sub wire, which is this black one here, uh, out to the corner, left corner of the rear we're going to have dual subs and there'll be another sub here's my low voltage wiring coming through the box the speakers and we're going to have a secondary sub somewhere over here where it's marked sub we'll have another wire coming out there also i'm going to take you around this way i'm trying to keep these videos to about three minutes each but this is the unfinished side um i was able to run my data cable from all the way upstairs I have a data cable that will go into a switch that will run everything here. 
My television will plug in here behind the wall because I'm going to hang it on the wall. And I have a dedicated circuit for the TV and the amplifier and components. So that is all going to be separated on its own. Eventually, I, have, I did have separated this light here. Um, there will be a bathroom here. So that wire will go to the overhead light there and then feed the light here uh, once I get a couple of lights in place here. But that's an update for now. Um, we're looking at the media room to be a 7.2.2 uh, theater at Dolby Atmos system. Not sure yet where I'm going to place the ceiling speakers. This will also be sheetrocked. And I do have my recessed lighting that I'm going to install. So that's it so far. Hopefully in my next update I'll have this pole moved. We'll have the last wall in place. And we'll get a better idea what the media room will look like. Till then, see you soon. Well folks, Joey P here again. And I'm going to give you a little bit more of an update on my basement finish out and media room. So... About a week or so ago, I was still insulating. Uh, that is pretty much completed. Um, as you can see, we got majority insulation done here. All the way across here. Uh, the only section left is really this wall here and the last part of my meteor wall. With that pole that the Sheetrock is leaning on. We had a sheetrock delivery. That pole will be removed. That guy is coming in about a week and a half to bury it inside a 2x6 wall that will close off my media room, which is right here. And you can see I started to put in the speaker wires and getting them run. Low voltage orange box. Dedicated power for my receiver. And we also have everything wired to the sub box. Just waiting for my electrician to come in because I'm not messing with that. Uh, change you may have noticed on the box around my ductwork. I actually had two 2x4s two there and cross members. I decided to take that out. And what we did was we actually cemented a board to the I-beam using construction glue which pretty much held me up we screwed another board there which leveled that off pretty good if you can see that so my sheetrock will basically go straight across on about 28 inch center roughly which should be more than enough to hold the sheetrock up but that bought me almost two inches of headroom because the stuck work lays down pretty low so that's what we got so far. I'm anxiously waiting to get the pole moved so I can finish this last wall into my theater room. Uh, I also have an estimator coming to help me hang the sheetrock so we get that done pretty quick. And we should be moving along. Another video in about a week or so. Um, after I get this pole moved and the wall up, I'll give you a better idea of the media room and how big it will be. And we'll go from there. Talk then. All right, world. Update on my media room basement refinish. Started to sheetrock, as you can see. I've got my doors picked out for my two openings. And if you remember the last video, I'm talking about a pole. So we added a new pole for support. Had an engineer come in. Let me know that this I beam can span 15 to 18 feet. We're only 12 foot to the new pole. With a new footer. And we'll be removing the old pole tomorrow. And that way it's not in the middle of our media room. As you can see, I got the one of the walls up. Also use pressure treated wood on the wood that's contacting cement. So we got that all set. And I don't want to make you dizzy here, but I want to give you a full shot. And again, there's the new pole. We're going to bury that right inside the wall. So you won't even see it. We will have an archway here. So about a 48-inch opening, 49-inch in case I want to put doors on it, which will get us into our media room. 
you know we got the rest of this room say hi to Jax hi Jax and until the next video we'll talk to you guys soon Okay, folks, part number four of our basement fit out or basement refinish and theater room, which I am very excited about. Uh, so, made a lot of progress. We finally got the pole moved from where that hole is slightly to the left so that we have a clear room. And... We have a brand new, stronger pole than what was there before. And that is built right into the room, as you can see. And we are really getting into our theater room now. This is our room. The floor is painted with uh, vapor lock, mildew vapor lock paint. We're using pressure treated wood on our riser for our rear seats. This would be the entrance to the theater, which allows a single step up onto the back row of seats. Um, and then we'll have an aisle on both sides, narrow, but we'll have an aisle on both sides to step down into two seaters in the front, which puts our viewing distance from the TV just about eight feet for 77 inch. That is absolutely THX perfect, if you would. THX rec recommends a certain video viewing angle, and 7 to 8 feet is optimal for a 77 to 80 inch TV, which will go on that wall. We've got more wires we're going to run. We're going to pre-wire for four Dolby Atmos speakers, even though we may only start with two, but we're going to set up for four for future expansion. And that's the room so far. So today, I hope we will have the platform finished. We're going to put in two floor outlets for the power of the chairs. One in the front and one towards the back. So we can have a plug in the carpet with those little copper caps for our power seats. And if I don't run out of money, we're moving along pretty good. Uh, we started this project about the first or second week in December. And I'm doing it all by myself with a little help from my son and my brother-in-law uh, once in a while. But uh, all in all, I'm doing it on my own and so far coming out pretty good. I should have the sheet rocker here next week and I'll get you a new video once the sheet rock is finished. And we'll give you another update. Thanks. Hey guys, Joe P back here again with the basement refinish and media room. I was going to wait to make an updated video, but I want to show you what's going on here. I got our platform in. Um, got it framed out. It's insulated for sound inside. We are going to have two uh, floor outlets. One here for the front row seats and one towards the back, which I didn't put in yet. Uh, most of the speaker wiring is done. There's my backs. My surrounds and my atmos in the ceiling and you probably caught the metal going across the beams that's resilient channel uh, that is a soundproofing device that you screw to the beams and it dampens the sound going upstairs um, that way you can crank your favorite movie and it helps to dampen the sound from traveling upstairs. So we got that done. Uh, we only have two more Atmos speakers to run on this side. That is my platform again. That's the better shot of it. So our back row of three will go there. And we have a row of two in the front. And there's all my wires coming through for all the speakers. Two subs. One in the front. And one towards the back. And I'm going to keep this one short because I don't have much more to do 
but we will be working with the sheet rocker shortly i got a couple more rows of resilient channel to put on here and we're going to be ready for sheetrock so we we'll probably won't update you until we're sheetrocked and you get a better idea of what's going on but that's the inner working so far we're having fun and we're getting it done okay quick update uh, this will be a short video but sheet rocker came day one and we have quite a bit done this wall here most of the steps going up completed but uh, come back over here we got this boxed out for our drop ceiling but really cool is the media room which is here it now has an echo including the dog so here we are sheet rock on the walls we have our sconce we're going to be cutting holes in the ceiling for speakers and lights they're marked and measured uh, this is for a sconce that i'll be putting up all my speaker wires my sub wires more sub back here outlet we will have another outlet in the floor i'm really getting excited now it's starting to look like a room i'm standing way at the back towards where the tv will be we will be boxing that out tomorrow sheetrock should be done tomorrow two days thanks to jake luber doing a great job for me it's about the only thing i won't tackle i'm doing everything else myself so that's an update. I will update you once it's finished with the sheetrock and before paint. Okay, we're back. And we are sheetrocked and we are primed for paint. Um, I showed you some of the sheetrock videos earlier. Uh, an amazing person came and helped us, and in four days he had this place rocked and ready to paint. Just amazing. So this is our main area again of the basement. And over here will be our sports bar area. We're going to put a TV up on that wall. We have some bar stands and tables and different things to put up. And as you come down through here, We'll start getting into the home theater. If you remember, I had a pole buried in that wall there uh, from previous videos. And we are looking to paint this week. Uh, not sure yet exactly what color I'm gonna do, but in the main room, we may do something like this. In the theater, we're gonna go a little bit darker. So here's what the theater looks like. And again, just to review, a lot of my speaker wires are pulled through the other side of the wall, but the main speaker wires all come into that lower box there. We have dedicated circuit for the amps. To our right, we have an outlet and a sub feed wire. To the right of that is our right channel. And of course, all the way to the left will be our left front channel. And then if we go up higher, we have lighting, lighting, uh, Dolby Atmos front left, more lighting, and of course we'll come around to this side, and we've got lighting, Dolby Atmos right channel, and more lighting, and then of course in the rear, we have Dolby Atmos two lights for the left rears, Dolby Atmos and two lights on the right hand side, we have our right-hand surround wire out. We have our left-hand, or left-channel surround wire pulled, and left and right back channels. All cut out, ready to go. And we're gonna, we're just ready for regular paint now. So just a matter of the paint scheme, what I'm gonna use in this room. But uh, really, really, really coming along. 
And if you've been following the videos, you know we started this project about the first week in December. And uh, we're, we are moving along very well. So I uh, just want to give you an update prior to the main painting. Uh, next video will be after I paint this main room. And then we'll, uh, we'll decide what we're going to do on the media room for colors and different things like that. There'll be a drop ceiling in here, a drop ceiling in here, and a drop ceiling in our third section. And as you saw, in the media room is sheetrocked. On top of Resilient Channel, if you forgot that in an earlier video, we use Resilient Channel to help dampen the sound going upstairs because my wife sleeps like right here. So we want to make sure the home theater doesn't shake her out of bed. So we did a lot of soundproofing. So that's it for now. Uh, this was a little bit longer video. And I'll update you on the next one. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, wanted to give you an update on our basement finish out and theater room. So we are really making progress. We've got all our outlets in. Uh, we got some switches yet to do. Got our doorknob trims on. We got our vents in place. I'm working on windowsills. And you can see that all the outlets are in. And here's the home theater, folks. This is really what I'm very excited about. We have our in-wall clips, rear speakers. I'm probably gonna end up painting those grills black because my surround speakers, you can see two surrounds, they have black grills. In the ceiling here, we've got our Dolby Atmos front rights and lights hanging still because I haven't powered them up. There's Dolby Atmos front left. Uh, we have a little problem with our left rear. Dolby Atmos hall was a little bigger, so I had to do some spackling. But our lights are in place. Sorry to make you dizzy here. And our light switches. Both of these are dimmers, be controlled by ADT's control app. Uh, we can do scenes and different things. So this is the media room coming out very good just want to give you guys a quick update and uh we'll keep you posted once all the electrics up and fire it up and uh we'll be shopping for drop ceiling later today for the three sections of ceiling here for now i'll get back to you in about a week see ya all right gonna give you an update on our basement refinish and theater room so there's our drop ceiling. Majority of it is in already. We're only about a week down and we have all of our electric is done. This middle light turns on our recess lights and I just love these lights. So you guys know what these are. I call them pancake lights. They're very, very thin. There's a wire that comes out of them and the electrical box mounts up on the stud and they are dimmable and all the weight is really on the box and not so much on the lights and they are just beautiful six inches and they look really great now here we have the other two sections of dirt drop ceiling uh, all the grids done and again the electrics all done and then you, there you see the, the lights here and then of course the lights here two in each section uh, we definitely need a lot more tiles than we thought but that comes with the that comes with the make out here um, so here's our theater room we are really making progress here and we have our light switches here with little indicator lights these are for the overheads this is for the sconces and if you look there's our back speakers uh, you can barely see our electrical sub panel we have gotten a flush panel uh, and painted it the same as the walls, so it really came out nice. Uh, we have our four Adobe Atmos speakers in the ceilings, and that's done. And check these out, I got these online. Look at my sconces here. Let me see if I can adjust a little bit so you can see a little better. Um, there's a little bright spot. So there we have a take one sconce, and over here we got a little popcorn sconce. So, 
Pretty neat, those are all doable also. Uh, but I'm standing at the back of the theater looking forward where our TV will go. Um, we are gonna do more soundproofing on the other side of the TV wall because my furnace is there and the sound comes through uh, that wall pretty good. So we're gonna sheetrock, resilient channel and double sheetrock again to uh, cut down the noise on the furnace when we're in the, in the movie room. Um, I'll give you a shot to the back end. Again, this is, uh, all my wires are actually through the wall to the unfinished side right now. I'm gonna pull those all through with plates shortly. But this is the back of the room. And you can hear we have quite an echo here. So I'm building uh, acoustic panels and we're probably gonna hang about eight of them throughout this room to knock down that echo because it's really bad. And you know, for any kind of theater room, you cannot have that. So uh, carpet will be coming hopefully within the next week. And we are going to do uh, pergo flooring throughout here. Might use either the waterproofing or the, the kind that has everything put together. It has a pad on it and built right in so we can lay it right on top of the concrete. We might need a vapor barrier. Um, but we're really making progress, getting pretty excited. I don't want these videos to go too long because once I put them all together, uh, we're going to have uh, quite a lengthy video. So I'm going to sign off for now. Keep you guys posted and uh, talk to you on the next video. Thanks. Okay. I don't know how much difference going to make but right now this is without acoustic sound can you hear the echo echo yep that's that oh. that was a dog jumping on me so i built six let's see what happens okay notice the difference i certainly do once the carpet's in here we're gonna be see even jacks does an echo isn't that cool so these worked. Sounds not bouncing around too much. So I got okay, six made in a few weeks. A couple of weeks anyway. Want to give you guys an update on our basic refinish and media room. Getting closer to completion. So here we've trimmed out our steps with some paint and some treads. Came out really nice. Uh, little shelf up there we added and we have been working very hard on our vinyl floor this is my first installation of a vinyl floor but i gotta tell you i'm pretty impressed with myself <laughs> it came out real good i know you guys are not used to seeing all this finished but i you know been a while but um this vinyl flooring is just incredible uh, we didn't have one bad piece in the pack. Um, everything came out really nice. We got our square footage pretty well straightened out. We came up about a box short. As you can see, I've got one strip here yet to do. And we still have some molding and trim to do to finish out this section of the basement. But here's an overview. We, uh, we got our TV hung. We got our bar out. We have our bar lights up. <clears throat> As you guys saw in the previous video, the uh, ceiling was done earlier on. We have a center bar table here. We got a couple of high tops that we're putting in. Uh, we have lots of pictures and sports memorabilia to hang. But as we come down through this unfinished section over here, we have a little cinema sign that we're, <laughs> we're set up. Um, that case there will hold uh, all our media movies because as any real uh media person knows the best way to watch movies especially in a dedicated home theater is on disc um, the quality and the sound is just second to none from streaming so we do collect a lot of movies and we have to put that out there we did some pole wraps which came out beautiful i still got a couple of pieces to put on but we wrapped the poles and we put those up hung my lightsabers for star wars as you can see, we have some good collector's items. I've got a couple of posters that's going to go on that back wall there. We have a lot more posters and stuff to show you. Uh, so we're going to enter the media room through these double doors. And as you can see, planning is the best way to do things. 
planning ahead of time if you can see the door is wide open it's actually a perfect fit um, to both sides here so going into the media room you're gonna hear a lot of echo we are on hold with carpet right now because of the coronavirus we're all going through right now um, but here you have our wires all pulled and we did trim this one and you can see the white trim around the meter room which I think looks pretty cool we've got some posters we're gonna be hanging but our hold up in this room now is the uh, carpet the carpet installers are on hold we did purchase everything but uh, and this is what it looks like with the doors closed behind us and it really is coming out beautiful I can't wait to sit here and watch a Star Wars movie in this room <laughs> because it's going to be just incredible Our four Atmos speakers in the ceiling again this is going to be a 7.2 subs 0.4 Atmos system uh, I'm just so excited we're going to probably get our TV sometime soon and get that centered on the wall but um, and we also have a lot of soundproofing to put in here obviously the other problem I had was I think I may have mentioned it in an earlier video was that far wall here is a lot of sound from our furnace so we are going to soundproof that wall a little further well this video is a little bit longer than the other clips um, but I, I had a lot to update you guys on and um, I just wanted to show you our progress we're really doing a great job my wife is really helping me out with the decorating and setting things up um, to make this the best man cave around <laughs> so with that we're almost at the five minute mark we've got a lot more clips that we're going to put together in one one big video i will introduce myself and kind of do a uh, a beginning video and then uh, we'll put it all together so there we have it our basement refinish is really coming along and uh, a little hold up in the theater room but and i can't wait to get that going so till then we'll see you shortly thanks Okay, I think this is video clip eight or nine that I'm combining into one video. I wanted to start in the media room this time because it, the last clip that you heard had quite an echo. Well, since then we've hung a few things, but most importantly, we did some acoustic panel building. I actually made these myself uh, and it has cut down on the echo considerably these are set up for our first reflection points once our speakers are in and then of course we got a couple on the back wall uh, for the home theater so we don't get any reflection from the front speakers to the rear walls we're going to do some bass traps in the corners uh, for some more sound acoustics but uh, the theater room is coming along and again as mentioned in the last clip we got to hold up because it is COVID-19 to get this carpet installed and really get this room finished up but um, wanted to give you a tour of what we got so far uh, everything is done in the main room except the trim so again contractors I'm gonna probably end up doing it myself but um, here is the Star Wars stuff again uh, we did hang a couple of pictures in the media room uh, but we did put out all our furniture and we hung all our pictures um some music record albums robert plant things like that some of you might remember the honeymooners and then of course all my sports memorabilia is up uh the sopranos my sopranos wall got a few more things to hang there but our high tops are in the bars in pretty much everything's done except for some trim this is my buddy mr mario andretti he and i have known each other for for a lot of years um, and uh, a lot of collector cars things like that some great Yankee Stadium pictures but um, this is the overall view of the basement now and we're pretty much finished so I've got uh, maybe a clip or two but I'll definitely be talking more about the home theater once the carpet is in 
and I'll give you a tour of the speakers and what we use to design that home theater. But the uh, basement came out really great. Um, this has only been since mid-December. We really moved along. I did pretty much everything myself. I had help with the sheetrock, but uh, this really came out nice. So uh, I'm going to close out this clip, and um, we'll probably put together one more once the home theater is finished. Okay, Joe here again. We officially are done on the bar side of our basement almost four months to the day. Uh, we just finished all our trim, as you can see. Came out absolutely gorgeous. And we have everything in place. We got our little bar. Get some lights on here. You know, sports memorabilia stuff and I love the pole wraps came out really nice you've seen them in the last video and we have our tables and this side is officially finished and I'm very very happy the way it came out you guys go back four or five videos this was just sticks not too long ago right so it came out beautiful. I'm very happy with it. My only delay is the theater room, which we still have some tools in, as you can see. No carpet yet. So I can't wait to get this room finished. The acoustic panels are up, reduced the echo significantly already. Um, recently, I did a little change. Um, ran some wires across the ceiling. I think what I'm going to end up doing is a projector uh, so we can get a pretty large screen. This is not a really big room, but a 85 or 90 inch TV is very expensive. So the projectors have come a long way. So I think we're going to go with a projector, probably an Optima. Um, but when this room is fully completed, we'll have a special video just for this. But, uh, Everything came out really nice. <clears throat> We're just waiting on carpet with COVID-19. The carpet guys have been put on hold. And uh, I'm not good at installing carpet. Everything else in this place was done by myself. With a little help on the sheetrock. And the trim. Other than that, this thing came out really good. I'm very happy with it. And uh, as soon as we finish that theater room... We will get another video put together. So I'm going to sign off for now. Probably won't have another video for a little bit until I get the theater room up and running. But this is our completed basement. Just outstanding. Floor came out perfect. So I'm very happy with everything that we did. Now, the last thing we are doing on this side is a bathroom which will be up over the step here on this side and we did frame the bathroom I know it's hard to see I don't have a wide angle lens but this will be <clears throat> our bathroom with a grinder up flush toilet and a nice vanity so that sits back over this step and we'll be working on the plumbing and the electric in that bathroom shortly for now, thanks for watching. Click the like button and uh, really appreciate it. Thank you. Hey guys, uh, welcome back. Not sure what video number this is or clip, but I uh, just want to let you know, added a few things since the last clip. We, uh, as you can see, the basement is pretty much finished. Uh, brought out vinyl albums that I haven't <laughs> had out. In over 16 years, decided to put a turntable, a little two-channel Yamaha amp, and uh, a lot of fun to play with that again. Also wanted to update you that we're in construction for something else. I'm going to show you that in a minute. Um, but uh, as you can see, the basement's pretty much done. Uh, I will have a final video when everything's finished. Back in here in our theater room, you've seen this a couple of times. But we will be getting carpet 
uh, on Friday, which is about five days from now. So pretty excited about that. So we can start getting this room finished. The uh, tape marks on the wall are for an estimated projection screen. We pre-wired for the projector and my BenQ projector came in the other day. So I haven't even opened it yet. It's killing me. I want to open it, but I can't yet. Um, we got a lot of work to do in this room, so I didn't want to break that out. But I did want to show you this real quick. Again, I'm trying to keep these video clips small so that when I put it all together, you guys won't have too much to look at. So, by the way, this is a good friend of mine, Mr. Mario Andretti. And if you don't believe he's a friend, there it is, your friend. <laughs> However, I wanted to show you this. I framed our bathroom, which is going to come off a door down the steps on the left-hand side. So you can go right over the top of the landing. We put our vent in already. We got our vanity. Our toilets are sitting outside in a box. But I wanted to show you this. This is the uh, Santa Flow um, up flush toilet or grinder or whatever they call it. Uh, my project yesterday. So here's the sink coming out that will go into the grinder and there's where our toilet will sit once this is put together but the real project yesterday was we have to vent this thing and you can't use a cheater vent which is one of those because it needs to breathe both ways and a cheater vent will only allow air in so I took the time to run a brand new vent pipe all the way down and then what happens is this goes into the drop ceiling on the finish side. And I went all the way down there and took it outside the side of the house, which is pretty cool because the air conditioning unit is there. The vent for the furnace is there. Everything pops out on that side. So we have a brand new vent pipe specifically for our toilet in the basement. And this will be the entrance to that right here when we're ready so wanted to update you a little bit more on what's going on and uh we'll see you back in a little bit okay everybody this is going to be the final segment of our basement refinish i'm going to start you off in the little bathroom here these are the steps that go upstairs we redid these painted them made them real nice with trim we have a bathroom of course a nice vanity with an up flush toilet which seems to work pretty good in these situations where we're below sewer level. And as we swing in, this is the main sports bar area. And you can see I have some collector stuff. And, and we mounted a TV up here on the bar. And then we have our bar in place, a couple of signs. And if you look down... And finished up with some bar tables. And I'm going to take you down here. Have some posters. A little Sopranos wall. And yes, that's me. With some of the Sopranos characters. It's our movie collection. We got a little popcorn maker. Some albums for decorative. And brought out some vinyl for the first time in a long time. And then set that up. So this is our finished main basement. And it came out beautiful. And amazing when you go back to video number one. And I, I put this all together in one video. But it really came together fairly quickly. And came out really nice. And then my pride and joy back here. We put a dedicated theater room which is now finished with a 92 inch screen. We did some floor lighting and I'll just go around here real quick. We got a BenQ projector in the ceiling and we have seating for five. We got all the carpet in and it just turned out beautiful. And the kids and myself and my wife absolutely love it. And uh, that's our final video. And that was our basement refinish. 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you picked up some pointers. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. Make sure you check out my home theater video, which gives you a full tour of the equipment, speakers, and different things that we put into the home theater. Until then, thanks for watching. Please hit the like button, and any comments are appreciated.